you. So what we'll be doing now is removing a healing cap with a hex driver and then using a MIS torque wrench to insert the abutments. So the hex driver is a 0 0.05 inch hex, also called a 1.25 millimeter. I'm going to put that in here. Exposing the implants. Now when you're torquing in an abutment, it's always recommended to use a torque device. In this case, we'll use the MIS torque wrench. The benefit here is that it is an actual wrench with ratchet action. You can also, if you look closely, see, you can check the measurements of the torque as you're inserting it, just by the outer handle will move to point at the various torque readings in newton centimeters. So we will assemble the adapter along with the hex driver together. and insert it into the wrench. Here's our abutment. With screw in place. But first we'll place the abutment in. Attach the torque wrench. Now when we feel the screw begin to tighten, we can check the torque by pushing only on the outer part. When it becomes difficult, then it will provide some resistance. And we can measure the torque. So we're at the most important part now where the screw is tightened and we can check the torque using the outer portion of the torque wrench. So we push only with the outer part this way and you'll see the outer handle moves to show how much torque is being applied. Once the wrench starts to move, you'll know you've reached the torque rating for the screw. You see the wrench begin to move now. The reading on the screw says 28. So I'll push a little bit more. You'll see that it tightens to 30. We could stop here, and we'd know the screw is tightened to 30 newton centimeters. Remove it. And the driver. And the abutment is now torqued.